going to explain you about the off course alarm for the model for Tokyo Kiki system. So in this particular kind of steering system, we have a heading monitoring control and a magnetic display. And underneath we have the gyro 1 and gyro 2 display of the present heading. It's showing 281.8, 281.8. Say both of them do not have any error. So both of them are similar. We have gyro 1 and gyro 2. So presently we are using gyro number 1 is in use. Now let me explain you the display of the HDM. Presently you can see in the menu it says gyro number 1 is 281.9 and the E sensor is 281.1. Now let's not talk about the E sensor right now. Let's go by the step by step menu how it looks like. Since the display is very small what they've done is they've made pages. So every time you want to go to the next page you need to press display. So it shows the same E sensor of the last menu number two here as first. The new thing which has come is the course. So 276.0 pilot and the next page is again the last course. Here it is number two gyro. So Again, I'll go back to the first page. Number 2, gyro 2820. And heading monitor set 10 degree. And then various menus. You see next to number 1, gyro, a star. The star indicates the bearing sensor, true bearing, is used for steering. So right now number 1, star in a simplified language, is used for steering. So I, if I choose number two the star will be next to the number one number two gyro now let me go to the next display third display page you see this O now next to the gyro so O is the off course alarm sensor true bearing so right now uh, the off course alarm is mount, uh, monitored by the number two gyro see you're steering by number one gyro and number two gyro is monitoring the off course alarm now what happens is sometimes if you're steering by the number one gyro and you have a sudden change in your uh, gyro because of any problem with your gyro or something happens with your gyro and it deviates from the course and you're heading into a wrong direction so it gives you an alarm with the off course alarm set at 5 degrees or whatever alarm so it's 5 degrees to 15 degrees so if there is an off course alarm more than 5 degrees so it gives an alarm okay now let us choose uh, steering mode as external all right so now we've chosen steering mode as external you can see e sensor which is the electronic signal coming from the magnetic compass that is used for steering and asterisk indicated now if you change so it shows number two gyro is used for off course alarm monitoring now presently we have set an off course alarm setting at five degrees you can also change it from five degrees to so example you can change it to threshold let's change the threshold of course alarm setting is 5 degrees you can increase to 5 5.3 until 15 degrees let's make it let's show you how maximum i can go to 15 let's make it less let's make it 5 degrees so i made it 5 degrees that is set now i go back to the display explaining again e sensor right now is the external used as the steering mode and number one gyro is idle nothing is happening with that of course alarm is monitored using number two gyro now we need to make a difference of the heading of the magnetic so presently this is the magnetic just the repeater of what we have on the magnetic compass steering sensor is chosen as external gyro is used as true bearing so this is the uh, off course alarm which is monitoring so 284 is at uh, monitoring 284 for off course alarm magnetic is 284.5 now this is what we need to do here you see you need to press set so it gives you an option of hand and gps you choose hand you select hand with acquire enter you change the value right now i've chosen 0.5 so you see the values here right 283.9 now let's change it to um, somewhere around by another 5.4 let's make it 6 
you see the changes also in the e sensor accordingly so i press this so it changes so e sensor is turned to be 278.1 and the gyro 283.9 so there is a difference in the e sensor 278.1 See, this is the actual magnetic heading 278.1 is the steering sensor external e sensor 277.8 now what we need to do is we need to put the steering is on hand right now so it doesn't show an H so we just need to put it on auto so now when we put it on an auto auto steering first it gives in low alarms because we have no speed and gives an off course alarm why it is given an off course alarm because our e sensor is 277.2 and the off course alarm monitoring is 283.6 now if i change this back the e sensor heading is a lot more different from E sensor is again I'm repeating it's the repeater or it's the electronic signal of the magnetic compass along with our variations what we have put to change it so right now I changed the variation so it made it 6.0 let's put it back so it'll uh, go back the alarm should go back let's set it back to point so let's set hand select hand reduce the value put it back to 0.5 Let's select this and acquire enter acquire now let us put it back to hand so that all the alarms go back so right now you see there is not much difference between the e sensor and the one gyro or you can say the one which is monitoring the off course alarm 283.4 is number two gyro and the external is 283.3 283.3 so there is hardly any difference to, so in order to show the wedding inspector that the off course alarm is generated when there is a difference between the this the gyro 1 or gyro 2 you are using it for steering if you are using gyro number 1 for steering or gyro number 2 for steering one of them is used for off course alarm monitoring and if there is a difference between them it gives an alarm since we cannot show the difference between the number 1 and number 2 gyro what we do is we create a difference in the magnetic compass by changing the by changing the uh, magnetic uh, variation and increasing the value of the e sensor and then uh, we put it on the autopilot mode and the steering uh, is automatically calculates the difference and finds it more than 5 degrees and gives you an alarm thank you